Good morning, Bulldogs. Stay tuned for news about the Diversity Fair and the new Film Club video. Good morning, Bulldogs. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Mrs. D. Girolamo. And I was asked to come in to anchor today to help kick off the Rank and Run events that are taking place. Um, normally I would be here working as your resource teacher, but I have spent the past year fighting cancer. Um, so I'm so happy that Sir Winston is participating in this event. Uh, it makes people like me feel like there are lots of people behind us fighting, and if we're all fighting, then we can't lose. So. Please pay attention to all of the rank and run events that are taking place and I hope to see you all out there on June 6th walking around the track or running around the track. Today is May 17th and we wish a happy birthday to Emma C, Taha H, Jack M, Ali K and Lily W. Now listen up Bulldogs because we've got all the news to start your day. There are two new scholarship opportunities posted in D2L. The Canadian Federation of University Women is sponsoring a scholarship for someone who identifies as female and is entering a post-secondary institution in an engineering field. We also have a scholarship opportunity for a student who is entering a post-secondary institution in the hospitality or culinary field. If this applies to you, please see Mrs. Davis Thompson as soon as possible. If you have ordered a yearbook from last year, please come to the office ASAP to pick yours up. Recycling will happen today during period two. Teachers, please place your recycling bins outside your classroom when you hear the announcement. Today, May 17th, marks the International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia and Transphobia. This day, created in 2004, aims to bring attention to the discrimination and violence that people in the two-spirit LGBTQIA community face daily. While also condemning and bringing attention to this violence, it also celebrates sexual and gender diversity. May 17th was chosen because this is the day where the World Health Organization declassified homosexuality as a mental disorder. Now celebrated in over 130 countries, the International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia and Transphobia reminds everyone across the world of the struggles that people in the community face and looks to celebrate people of every identity. All students interested in being part of a Christian Fellowship Club are invited to meet with Mr. Hauser in room 223 at lunch this Thursday. This will be an open, non-denominational club for all branches of Christianity, from Catholic, Orthodox, Protestant, and beyond. Chess Club is back, so get your checkmate on in room 107, Tuesdays and Wednesdays at lunch. Speak to Mr. Watson for any further details. Attention to those students who intend on going on the fishing trip to Educast. Please make sure you have done three things. You have filled out and returned your permission form. You have paid with cash online. And finally, you have filled out the intention form with your food order and t-shirt size. This must be done by Thursday or you will not be going. Do not delay. Any questions, see Mr. Busca or Mr. Vandermolen. Check out this short promotional video for this year's movie for Film Club. Oh, you've been saying that since 
fifth grade. Hey Bulldogs, come buy some books in the front foyer tomorrow at lunch. There will also be another sale for books very soon. You can enter the raffle and win these special books. Thank you. We hope to see, see you there. there. Good morning, Bulldogs. Hey, Miss Davis Thompson, weren't they just talking about you? They sure were. They said there was two um, new scholarships posted, but guess what? There's a lot more. So make sure you check out the SWC uh, subsite of scholarships to see if any of them can apply to you. I also wanted to uh, remind the rowing crew to come down uh, to the back of the gym today at lunch, and we're going to take your individual team pictures. After school today, all track and field members, please come to the back of the uh, gymnasium again to get pictures done. And tomorrow at lunch, I would love to see the lacrosse players. We got to get all these uh, athletes up on the wall so we can celebrate them. Thank you. See you then. Wonderful. Grade 12s. Thank you for all your valedictorian nominations that closed yesterday and they will be vetted and the students who will be um, eligible to run for valedictorian will be notified very shortly. Grade 12s, that scholarship stuff up all the time. There's new stuff being posted, new opportunities almost daily. So make sure that you do check that out. And grade 12s, two weeks from today, your stomachs will be full right now because you will have enjoyed a fantastic grad breakfast. So make sure that you get your morning shift off if, you're working if you work in the morning off. Make sure you set your alarm. We are going to see you in the cafeteria on May 31st for grad breakfast. At grad breakfast, you will receive your grad tickets and your grad invitation along with a grad letter with information about graduation. So it's a fantastic day for you, a wonderful morning. Um, please come and join us. Grade 9, 10, 11, you all received your report cards. They were mailed home and you received that paper grad summary. On the grad summary, we went through every single one of them. Most of them will have a fantastic check mark and some of them might have some circles and some question marks. If that's the case, we want to draw your attention to a course that might be, are we good? Okay, we, we just want to draw your attention to um, perhaps some of next year's course selections to make sure that you did choose those um, with care. More specifically, if the sixth character is a C, like if it says E-N-G, like English, for you C, that's English for grade 12, U, university level, C, that's an e-learning course. So you chose an e-learning course. If you didn't mean to, come and see us and we'll switch it over. If you did mean to, that's fantastic. And you can move forward with that. Also, when we're talking about that fourth character, let's check the grades. Make sure that you have the course request at the appropriate grade because they were all mixed up in Zello. That would be the fourth character. ENG3, that's grade 11. ENG4, that's grade 12. Make sure you did that with care. Summer school, yes, it's closed, but is anything ever really closed? Um, well, yes, actually, it, many things are. However, our summer school friends have told us that they're going to be letting us know if there is room in any in-person or online courses. And um, if there is, we'll try to squeeze you in. So if you still want to um, grab a summer school course, see Ms. Hudak in guidance, give her your name and what you would like to do, and we'll see if we can make that work for you. I've been asked to point out on the um, anchor table, you saw the candies in the front. That's the Guess a Candy sale or contest. And that is still going on today. It'll be outside the cafeteria. One loony gets you three guesses and gets you an opportunity to buy, have a whole bunch of deliciousness that you can share with others. Those books that the girls were pitching earlier, those proceeds also go to the Rank and Run. And right on the main page of the website, when you click under events, the very first event is the Rank and Run. Take your phone, click on that, and the registration information is right there. Just click and you can register yourself. You don't have to pay until June. We'll get the cash from you later in June. So students, you can all do that. Mm. Well, not right now. Right now you're in class, but you can do it shortly, like right after class. So make sure to do that. That's it from us. Attention Bulldogs. Today is the day of our diversity fair in the cafeteria. The diversity fair is only during lunch and will not continue until one as written on the poster. All attendees must return to class at the bell. 
Come to the cafeteria at lunch today to sample some food items, listen to some great music, and learn about the many cultures that are represented at our school. Those who are setting up stations in the cafeteria will be called down during period two. Good luck to the girls soccer team today as they play against A.N. Meyer at 3.30. Today's special is Philly steak and cheese on a bun for $6. That's all the news we have for you today, Bulldogs. Don't forget to follow our Instagram account at SWCTV2023 for school updates and to look behind the scenes of our morning show. Thanks for watching and we hope everyone has a wonderful Wednesday.